Okay, so this week um, <clears throat> we are on week nine, and we're doing three documents and two timelines. So the first document is 37-5, which is an open table. So I'm going to go to 37-5 and go to open table. So um, if you look in the back of your Word manual, it's got tables, and... Let's go to I believe it's lesson let's see. Go to thirty six. Yes, if you look on page 69 in the Word Manual, in that paragraph below the table there, um, it's going to tell you um, what each table is. So a boxed table has borders all around. An open table does not have any borders. And a ruled table has borders on the top and bottom of row 2 and the total row at the bottom of the last row only. So you may want to underline that in that paragraph below the table on page 69. So it kind of tells you, um, you know, what an open table is, a box table, and a rule table. So we're doing a uh, open table which has no borders, okay? But we still have to create the table and then just get rid of the borders, okay? So I'm going to click on Start Work and open up my document. And enable editing here and <clears throat> so I'm going to go to insert table and you can start out with you know one column and one row like this and then we're going to type in 14 so 14 all caps and bold Okay, so we've got that. If I click over here in this next cell, press the tab key, it's going to give me more rows. And we need one, two, three, four rows. Okay. Now, this top row you need to highlight. So I just come over here to this selection area and just highlight the whole thing all the way across. You can click and drag it over, or you can just click one time and highlight it. So what we want to do is, um, when you, if you click on your table, these two um, uh, tabs are going to pop up for table tools. And I'm going to click on the Layout tab. I'm going to click Merge Sales. And then um, we're going to click at the end here and press Enter one time. And then we're going to just come over here into the first cell change it back to size 12 and it's not going to be bold and we're going to type within uh, casting continue typing that. So I'm just going to click save. Actually save as so I know where I'm putting it. So I'm going to go to browse. I'm just going to put it on my desktop and keep the name right here. Just hit save. And then I'm going to go back to um, GDP. And bring that over so you can see it here. I'm going to browse um, and pull that up. Pull that up here. And again, I will have errors because I have not completed the table. Okay. So, um, I 
course, I've got things left out right here. Look at Illinois, it's not spelled correctly. Um, it's like I press the space bar after um, the word design. So, um, maybe it needs to be um, two lines um, centered like that. Okay. So, I can just uh, save it and upload it again if I want. But I'm just going to go in there and correct those errors. Um, and then, once I'm done with the table, um, you can click and there's a little box that's going to pop up to highlight the whole table. So, if I go to the um, design, design tab, go to borders, and we want no borders. So, that's going to remove all the borders from the table. It's just going to align everything up um, as if it were in a table. So, I'm just going to save it. Um, let me click um, here and click this. Again, I'm going to still have those errors, but um, you just uh, keep correcting those errors until you have a grade of 100 or 0 errors, whichever one uh, you have. And <clears throat> then um, I have corrected all of that, so I just need to go in there and finish the table um, so that I will have 0 errors. So that is 37-4.